Today I have an unboxing of the Azio Lefrivitron, and I believe what they mean to say is Levitron, but you can clearly see this E is backwards in elite gaming manner. In fact, it's the Lefrivitron. Lithivitra bullseye, or, or crosshair, Lithivitra crosshair, tr mm. okay, whatever. It's the Levitron gaming keyboard. It is a high performance gaming keyboard. You can manually toggle the keyboard from standard mode to gaming mode. Adjustable keyboard backlight will keep the action going even when the lights go out. So this is a backlit keyboard with programmable macro keys, 10 times three programmable macro keys. So, um, Use them as hotkey shortcuts, specific keyboard characters, or whole keyboard sequences through the keyboard software macro keys. Automatic profile switching with the launch of user specified program or the press of a key, the keyboard will be right on board with your game plan by automatically switching to the right profile. Very cool. So that's what they mean by 10 times three macro keys. So 10 macro keys with up to three separate profiles. Media keys, including volume up, down, and mute keys for convenient audio control. Also equipped with replaceable Coracid gaming function keys with the keycap remover. Very cool. So I'll show you guys that once we open it up. The control of the battlefield with the long description that if you really want to, you can pause the video and read it. Okay, customizable keys, auto profile switching, three profiles, command center, that's the software. Macro keys, media keys, package contents, and this is all stuff that we've covered before. Oh, limited lifetime warranty, that's interesting. You don't see that very often on a keyboard, so there you go, limited lifetime warranty from ASIO. Okay. Open this baby up. Oh, look at that! Lifetime support, in addition to warranty, by phone, by live chat, by email. Huh. Really not very often you see that on a keyboard. Very cool. Okay, we got a quick start guide here in color. Showing you the macro keys, the command center, the media keys, other more different macro keys. Product features, which we've covered twice now. Uh, let's see if there's anything. Okay, the keystroke life is 5 million. This is a membrane keyboard. So, something to bear in mind is that at the price point this keyboard is at with the backlight built in, that is um, to be expected. You're not going to be getting a mechanical keyboard at this kind of a price point. Alright, let's take this out. And let's have a look at the three crosshair in. in more detail after I cut this open with my knife off camera. Oh no, wait, no, I got it, I got it. Don't turn it off just yet. Come apart! Ah, uh, no, my phone's ringing. Okay, I'm going off camera. In the baggie, we find the replaceable uh, gaming keys. So you can see here, we, there's, our, there's our S, which, hold on, W, A, S. Now I'm confused. Oh no, W. And then ASD. You know what? Let's get the keyboard out of the bag first. That will help us and make things more efficient in the long term. Okay. Keyboard. The overall look of the Levitron is actually fairly good. It's got a glossy black finish just around the keyboard itself. The keys have a matte finish to them, and then around the outside of it, there is there's a more of a matte finish. Okay. All of the uh, control center keys up here. These are glossy. You can actually manually switch between the profiles or you can use the software to make it so that it will automatically switch between the profiles. You can control the level of the LED backlight. You can lock the Windows key. That is a very useful functionality. The last thing you want is to accidentally minimize your game. And let's have a look at the positioning of the macro keys. So there's five macro keys on the very far left. Five more macro keys on the very far right. And I'm just going to do a quick evaluation of what I think of the actual key responses themselves. These are a very short travel, so you're not going to have to press them down a whole long way in order to get a response out of them. What I would compare this to, um, not necessarily in terms of key response or feel, but in terms of the travel distance, is something from uh, something from one of Razer's gaming keyboard lines. So where they use like a... Here, you can hear they're very quiet. So the switches are extremely quiet, very low travel, so um, just the general feel is, is similar to what I would get from, uh, from one of their keyboards, although not with the glossy keys. Okay, so hello world, 
I am seeing what I think of this keyboard. Not bad, actually. It's a little bit mushier than I would personally prefer. I do like a little bit more tactile feedback, but it's a trade-off because it does take a little bit longer to press a key that has more tactile feedback. In terms of the layout of the keyboard itself, I'd say there are no glaring errors other than the positioning of the backspace. Personally, I have small hands, and I very much prefer a long backspace and then a shortening of the enter key. So just putting this guy right here is my preferred layout because nobody presses enter up here, but many people press enter here. Long shift keys, that is a must for a gaming keyboard. And then WASD, everything is laid out as normal here. Uh, we do have our media keys up here. So there's your play, pause, as well as your volume adjustment keys. I think that pretty much covers everything on the front of it. Let's move around to the back. So it does have little feet that you can go ahead and flick up. So if you wanna increase the angle of the keyboard towards you or decrease it, all you have to do is flip those. And then let's have a look at the key remover. So it does come with a key remover tool as well as replacement keys for most of the gaming area keys themselves. So why don't we do R? Ah, look at that. That was easy. And then we can take R and we can put it back on. And now R has a reload button on it. And if you like really wanted to like screw with someone who you know who has this keyboard, you could take one of your spare keys and you could like, you could do something like that just to be a jerk. Be a jerk really slowly. There. Oh no! Which one's the A key? Ha ha ha. That's pretty much it. Alright, so thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Levitron from